Well, across California, homeowners are preparing for what could be another long wildfire season. What many say they weren't prepared for were steep insurance premium increases or being dropped from their insurance coverage altogether. ABC 10 News reporter Adam Rakusin takes a look at what options homeowners have and how the state is responding. Well, these companies, they browbeat you into consolidating all of your insurance needs under them. And then they can cherry pick what they want out of that, but you're then at risk. Up until about two weeks ago, Bob Watkins lived in an area that got its fair share of fires, but nothing too major until 2018. The West Fire in Alpine burned hundreds of acres and dozens of homes. While his home was safe, Bob says a year after that, his insurance company dropped him. That we were now in a high risk area and that they were no longer going to write policies for that area. As the state's dealt with years of record fire damage, Bob's story is not unique. Some insurance companies have cut back on what they're willing to cover in fire-prone areas or increased prices due to risk. We are in the middle of a crisis of sorts. Amy Bach is the executive director of United Policyholders. It's a consumer organization that deals with insurance. She says there's a few factors driving prices, including climate change and new technology. Those tools tend to overstate risk, right? They tend to oh, uh, basically scare insurers um, to the point where, uh, you know, they're just trying to, to run away. If people can't get insurance for their homes, they can't get a mortgage. And they can't, they can lose their homes if they lose insurance and can't find it any place. Harvey Rosenfield is the head of Consumer Watchdog. He also wrote Proposition 103 back in the 80s. It's a consumer protection law that requires the prior approval of California's Department of Insurance before insurance companies can implement property and casualty insurance rates. Some neighborhoods, sure, they have a higher risk of, uh, of wildfire, and that, uh, but other neighborhoods don't. Other neighborhoods are mostly uh, urban, and we're seeing requests for increases that are across the board. So what does the insurance industry have to say? Premiums are going up because the risk is going up significantly. Mark Seknen is the vice president of the American Property Casualty Insurance Association. It's one of the challenges we face is we are, you know, using 20-year look-back models. We're using a 20-year catastrophe model, which smooths out all the bumps, but it doesn't reflect what we're seeing now. And until we get the tools and be legitimate about it, uh, get the tools that show where we are now, companies are going to have a hard time figuring out the risk. One suggestion to help ease the price increase would be discounts for customers who mitigate their risk, almost like a good driver discount with your vehicle. It is something the industry is looking at, but Mark says wildfire risk is different. Really what we need to focus on, and I mean, I have this conversation, is we need to focus on community mitigation Every house needs to do it, and you need to maintain it, and it needs to be done constantly. Adam Rakusin, 